Well, hi, all my LGBT friends and others. Um, today we're going to continue reading Leviticus 26. And um, it is going to be on of idolatry, uh, religiousness, a blessing to the obedient, a curse to the disobedient, and a promise to the penitent. Um, <clears throat> But before I get into that, um, just in case you guys uh, haven't had a chance to hear my other video, um, and if you're in California, could you please uh, go to uh, VetoGunmageddon.org and find a location near you where you can sign up for the petition against the uh, um, gun laws that have been signed into law by Governor Jerry Brown, Mr. Moonbeam, and um, so that we can get it on the ballot to uh, to get it to the people to, to vote against it. Um, and um, uh, yeah, so if you could take a look at that web, web website. What's, what's important about it is that even if we don't get it on this November's ballot, um, it will hold things up for the laws not to go through until it gets on to the November 18th ballot. And, um, but I'm hoping it gets on to this, you know, ballot. And if you know of any, you know, police or, you know, um, uh, fire department folks, um, um, and, you know, any, any, uh, you know, people that depend upon, you know, the, the police and sheriff and CPA, uh, California Highway Patrol people, get them to uh, s sign these petitions. Um, it would be so much, it would be helpful because we need 390,000 signatures, uh, hopefully 500,000 uh, signatures. And so this is the way that we fight California. This is the way we draw the line in the sand because we know that none of these laws stop the bad guy or the criminal. Um, okay, so taking up enough time. All right, let's get going. Um, so the Lord says, <clears throat> you shall make you no idols or graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. You, if you walk in my statutes, you keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in due season and the land shall yield her increase and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. America really needs to hear this, especially California. And if your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your land safely. And I will give peace into the land and you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. And you shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to fight, flight. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. And you shall eat old store, and bring forth the old because of the new. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you and I will be your God, and you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth 
out of the land of Egypt, and you shall not be their bondsmen. And I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you go upright. But if you will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments, and if you despise my statutes, or if your soul arbor my judgments, so that ye will not do any of my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, the burning argue, ague, excuse me, and shall consume the eyes, cause sorrow of heart, and you shall sow your seed in vain, and your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies. <clears throat> they that hate you shall reign over you, and you shall flee when none pursueth you. And if you will not yet for all of this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. And I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron, and your earth as brass. And your strength shall be spent in vain, and your land shall not yield her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. And if you walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you, according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if you will not be reformed by me by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, then I also will walk contrary unto you, and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. I will bring a sword upon you, and shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. And when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send a pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered unto the hand of the enemy. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and then they shall deliver you your bread again by weight. And ye shall eat and not be satisfied. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury. And I, even I, will chase chastise you seven times for your sins. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. And I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols and your soul shall abhor you. And I will make your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries into desolation. And I will not smell the savor of your sweet odors. And I will bring the land into desolation, and your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. And the land, and then the land, enjoy her Sabbath, as long as it lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land, even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it lieth desolate, it shall rest, because it did not rest in your Sabbaths when you dwelt upon it. And upon them that are left alive of you, I will send a faintness into their hearts, into the lands of their enemies, and the sound of the shaken leaf shall chase them, and they shall flee as fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when none pursueth, and they shall fall one upon another, as if before a sword, and none pursueth, 
and you shall have no power to stand before your enemies. And you shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. They that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in the enemies' lands, and also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. And if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers and their trespass which they trespass against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, that I have also walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then they circumcise their hearts and be humbled, and when they accept of the punishment of the iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham. And will I remember, and I will remember the land. And the land shall be left of them, and shall enjoy her Sabbath, while she lieth desolate without them, and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity, because even because they despised my judgments, and because their souls abhorred my statutes. And yet for all of that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them, to destroy them utterly, and to break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. But I will, for the sakes, remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are my statutes and my judgments and laws, which the Lord had made between him and the children of Israel in the Mount of Sinai by the hand of Moses. This is the end of chapter 26. Well, I hope that this reading has been a blessing to you. <clears throat> and if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them below and uh, give me a thumbs up. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful week. Remember to pray and, and walk in the Lord daily. Okay. Bye-bye.